The Louisiana Reader's Choice is a reading enrichment program of the Louisiana Center for the Book in the State Library of Louisiana, which is the state affiliate for the National Center for the Book in the Library of Congress. Its mission is to foster a love of reading in the children of Louisiana by motivating them to participate in the recognition of outstanding books. Hi, I'm Ms. Charlene. I'm your Teen Services Librarian at the Madisonville and Covington branches of the St. Tammany Parish Library. Hi, teens. I'm Ms. Abby, your Teen Services Librarian for the Slido branches of the St. Tammany Parish Library. As Louisiana Teen Reader's Choice Committee members, Ms. Charlene and I are very excited to share with you the nominated titles for the 2022-2023 school year. Before we get into the nominated titles, Let's discuss how U.S. teens can participate in the Louisiana Teen Reader's Choice Program. If you are a teen in the 9th through 12th grades and you live in the state of Louisiana, you are eligible to vote. All you need to do is read three of the titles we are presenting to you today. You may absolutely read all 10 of them, but all you have to do is read three. Then you may visit the State Library of Louisiana's website to find out more information on the voting process. Almost American Girl by Robin Ha. It has never been easy for Robin and her single mother living in Seoul, Korea during the 1990s. But when a trip to Alabama turns into a permanent home with a new step family included, Robin's life is turned upside down overnight. Thrown into a new school where she is bullied and can't speak the language, Robin falls behind. She is unable to stay in contact with her friends back in Korea, and she isn't fitting in with her new step family. Worst of all, Robin feels betrayed by the one person she feels closest to, her mother. However, her mother then enrolls her into a local comic class that changes everything. Felix Ever After by Kaysen Collender. Felix Love wants to experience true love and pursue a degree in art at Brown University, but the competition is steep and comes with a side of bullying. When Felix's dead name and pre-transition photos are leaked around school by an anonymous source, all of the anger and resentment Felix has been carrying around for years bubbles to the surface. He starts working on a plan for revenge that may drag him into the middle of a love triangle he was not expecting. Deep Life by Francis Harding. For centuries, the underwater gods have terrified the islanders of the Marids until they destroyed each other leaving only their magical remains at the bottom of the sea. That was 30 years ago. 14-year-old Orphan Hark and his mischievous friend Jilt are islanders who scavenge for these remains called Godwares. However, one of Jilt's schemes gets Hark arrested and sent to a neighboring island full of priests. There he works for a doctor and new opportunities begin to arise for him, but Jolt comes and drags him into another risky, dangerous scheme that takes them into deeper and unexpected waters. Here the Whole Time by Viter Martin, translated by Larissa Lina. What would you do if you had to spend the next 15 days with your lifelong crush? Felipe is about to find out. Body conscious, Felipe is ready for a much needed break from his school and bullies who tease him incessantly. Ready to binge watch way too many shows and catch up on his TV read list, Felipe is thrown for a loop when his mom tells him that Cal, the next door neighbor, will be staying with them for the next 15 days. Cal, who he has had a crush on forever. I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. Plus-size Korean-American Sky Shin is a talented vocalist and dancer who dreams of being a K-pop star. So when she has the opportunity to audition for a K-pop competition called You're My Shining Star, she goes for it. After blowing her audition out of the water, Sky is entered into a world of reality TV and all its dramas, including friendships and possibly romance among her fellow competitors. However, society has its own ideas of what beauty should look like, and it's not plus-size Sky. Skye is comfortable with the way she looks. It's everyone else that's not. Everyone is judging and making assumptions of what bigger girls should and shouldn't do, including her own mother. But this doesn't stop Skye from taking the K-pop industry by storm. Not So Pure and Simple by Lamar Giles. 
Dell has had a crush on Kira since kindergarten, but has never had the opportunity to date her because she is always in a relationship. When Kira breaks up with her current boyfriend, Dell thinks it is finally his chance to be with her. When Kira volunteers for an opportunity at church, Dell is right behind her and finds himself signed up for a purity pledge. This is sure to impress her. Enlisting fellow purity pledger, Jameer is helping him win over Kira for the small price of answers to Jameer's questions about sex ed. The biggest problem? Del forgot to ask Kira what she wants. This is My America by Kim Johnson. Seven years ago, an African-American man named James Beaumont was sentenced to death row for a double homicide. Only, he didn't do it. His 17-year-old daughter, Tracy, has been writing letters to the criminal justice organization Innocent X ever since. Despite only having a year left, Tracy has hoped that this injustice will be recognized. However, when her track star brother, Jamal, comes home with blood on his hands one night and the police following shortly after, things take a turn for the worse. Jamal is now on the run and is suspected of killing a girl, but did he do it? Tracy believes that her brother is innocent. She begins her own investigation to uncover the truth behind what really happened to save both her brother and her father. The Light in Hidden Places by Sharon Cameron. Stefania Podgorska is just a teen when Germans invade the small Polish town she lives in, forcing her Jewish employers into the ghetto and leaving Stefania alone in a German occupied city with her six year old sister Helena. When one of her employer's sons escapes from a train headed to a death camp, Stefania and Helena hide Max and 12 other Jews in her attic. The next knock on the door are Nazi officers requisitioning her house for the German army, unaware of the occupation of her attic. This story is based on the true story of Stefania Podgorska and her heroic acts during the German invasion of Poland in World War II. This Train is Being Held by Ismay Williams. Two teens from different worlds meet unexpectedly on a train in New York. Half Cuban Isabella is a privileged high schooler who dreams of being a professional dancer. Her life appears perfect on the outside to Dominican American baseball star Alex, but it couldn't be further from the truth. On the inside, Isabella is caring for an unstable mother who disapproves of her dancing. Alex is not without his own troubles though. Alex dreams of being a poet but his father has other plans for him. He wants him to follow in his footsteps and become a pro baseball player, just like him. Both teens come from different backgrounds and social classes, but after many train encounters over the next three years, the two develop a friendship that might just bud into something more. Punching the Air by E.B. Zaboy and Yusef Salam. Amal had a bright future in front of him until he and his friends get into a fight with a group of racists. One of the attackers ends up in a coma, and though he did not throw the punch that put him in that state, Amal is incarcerated. Amal sees the injustice in the system, sees how institutional racism marks him as a criminal, even though he is a kid. He sees the very different life choices laid out for him and his friends and for the white kids. Rather than succumbing to rage and despondency, Amal uses his art to save himself, to make sense of this senseless world and the life he has been given. This book is written in prose and is inspired by the life of co-author Yusef Salam, who was wrongly convicted at the age of 15 and is part of the Exonerated Five. Thank you for joining us for our book talks on the Louisiana Teen Reader's Choice nominated titles for the 2022 2023 school year. Please visit the State Library of Louisiana's website for more information regarding this program and for the voting process.